CCTV's Joel Richards is joining us from Rio. Joel, what have the spectators seen so far? Afternoon, Susan. Well, yeah, a fantastic day already on day one with 12 gold medals on total on offer. Uh, thousands of people milling around here at the Olympic Park, which you can see uh, just behind me. And as you mentioned there, the very first gold medal then going to the United States and what really was a, a surprise there, the teenager. She's studying physics back in the United States. Uh, she beat the favourites, Chinese Ju Li, to take the very first gold medal. Uh, elsewhere, we've seen Vietnam winning their first ever gold medal in any Olympic Games. And we've also had the first world record broken here with Great Britain's Adam Peaty uh, in the heats, beating his own world record in the 100 metres breaststroke. So a great deal of uh, sport on offer and still many more medals to be won uh, later this afternoon. Joel, lots of attention for the Syrian swimmer Yusra Mardini taking part for the refugee team. That's right, uh, Susan, an astonishing story. One year ago, Yusa um, uh, Mardini was in the uh, Mediterranean. Her, her boat capsized as she was fleeing Syria with 20 other people. Uh, she swam there, helping people to safety. A year on, this afternoon, uh, she was in the uh, heat in the 100 meters butterfly. She won her heat, uh, not fast enough to qualify, but nonetheless, her story representing the refugee team here at the Olympics is certainly one of the most compelling stories of the uh, behind the athletes biography. It certainly is, Joel. Well, tell us about concerns about the organization. What has it been like today? That's right. Well, one of the main concerns about these Olympic Games was organization and also, of course, security. Uh, the beach volleyball got underway in Copacabana, really one of the fantastic sites here of the Olympic Games, but really with an, a virtually empty stadium. Uh, there were major problems long queues and delays with people getting in there so a lot of frustration there uh, the organization the organization committee has already apologized for that so early teething problems there uh, but also obviously we mentioned security uh, there was a, an astonishing situation this afternoon in one of the media centers where a stray bullet entered no one was injured but nonetheless obviously uh, police investigating there and also a controlled explosion near the finishing line of the cycling again ongoing investigation there um, no injuries but obviously concerns there for the organizing committee Absolutely. Joel Richards joining us from Rio de Janeiro.